Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, and today we're at chapter 9, verse 57 to 62. Now it happened as they journeyed on the road that someone said to him, Lord, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Then he said to another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. Jesus said to him, Let the dead bury their own dead, but you go and preach the kingdom of God. And another also said, Lord, I will follow you, but let me first go and bid them for farewell who are at my house. But Jesus said to him, No one, having put his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. Interesting business here. Well, let's take these three pieces uh, right here. First of all, we have the one that comes to Jesus, and he says, Lord, I'll follow you wherever you will go. Is that true? Is that what he's really up to? Does he really know what he's getting into? Has he really counted the cost? That's a pretty dismal response by Jesus. Oh, you know, foxes have holes and birds have nests, but we're not going to have anything here. If you're anticipating some kind of big glorious ministry plan, you know, with, with lots of dollars and lots of, lots of food and lots of perks, he's, Jesus is telling this guy, that's not what this is going to be. You know, there's a crucifixion at the end of this road. Uh, you better make sure that you're on the right track. He's trying to warn him what he's getting into. He's got to count the cost. When you become a Christian, you should, you should, you should become a Christian. But you shouldn't be anticipating, you know, this, this wonderful free magic carpet ride to the kingdom at the end. This is going to be intense if you follow Jesus and if you become a person of conscience. The second one, no, let me first go and bury my father. Doesn't that sound reasonable? It sounds so reasonable. His father just died, or did he just die? Maybe his father's very ill, or he's nearing his end of his life. And this person's just saying, hey, we think he's you know, we think he's going to be dead in a couple of weeks. Let me just take care of my family things and come along. Jesus, isn't that uh, un unreasonable of Jesus to say, no, it's now or never. You know, you've got to make the decision. Well, Jesus knows something about the human heart. Jesus knows that the devil will take any, any lingering time where we are delaying a decision. The devil knows how to play with that. The devil knows how to, how to take that and in, in very rapidly erode your resolve to follow him. And so what we need to do, what we should be doing when God is leading and we're certain we know from the Bible that it's God's leading, we need to step out and we need to let him lead us. We need to make the decision and step right across the line into God's will completely. Uh, if we don't do that, we are setting ourselves up for all kinds of rationalizations and disastrous kinds of thinking that will put us into a real trouble. Jesus knows that because of the weakness of the fallen human nature, the weakness of our physical humanity and our, our brain, we need to, when, when he convicts us, we want to come straight on. And then the last one we had was, let me go and just say goodbye. Let me say goodbye to mom, you know. She's going to be really sad when I leave. And Jesus actually even goes so far as to say, no, that's not it. You must come now. And it's kind of, again, that, that in, in need when God's spirit is convicting, there's a necessity that we come, we come and step across the line, you see. These other things can be worked out. God will work it out for us. But we should not delay at any time. God has a mission for us. He's calling us. We need to go forward when he calls us and do his stuff right now. Let's pray about it. Dear Father in heaven, we have a tendency to procrastinate, to put things off. Whatever we uh, can put off eight hours, we'll put off eight hours. Lord, you're, you're giving us warnings through these three incidents here that we need to step out and put you first. And also that what we're getting into with the kingdom isn't going to be all just, just apple pie. So please, Lord, help us to accept all that it's going to cost us to follow Jesus and be faithful. We ask your help in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friend, let's give all that we are to Jesus. He'll take care of the rest. God bless you today.